guys. Today uh, I'm gonna show you uh, at least to, uh, how to make a um, sauna, an external sauna. Uh, as you can see last year uh, we set up uh, the jacuzzi with a, a deck uh, that was pretty, uh, pretty well done and then also like a wall like here. So uh, with that view uh, next uh, should be uh, the sauna. So uh, the plan is to make an external sauna just in front of the, the boathouse and uh, yeah first of all I need to make the frame and then after that uh, we will make the foundation uh, and then after that we will uh, follow what I did on the 3D. Um, so uh, I will make another video with um, how I made the, the 3D model. It's not perfect, I'm not uh, a builder but uh, yeah at least uh, we have to try. So let's see and uh, we will start with the frame. So yeah, here I used uh, 198 by 48 and then I glued uh, two uh, beams each time. Uh, the plan is to have like three meters by two. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just uh, now I'm uh, fixing uh, the corners and uh, I also have to think about the uh, drainage. Uh, and yeah, here is the the place where it will be. So I have a giant stone here that I have to fix uh, to manage. So I think I will go a bit upper above the the stone. And uh, yeah, and then as soon as the frame is done, I can position, and then I will know exactly where I want my uh, foundation. So it's a bit hard when you're alone to uh, make the level on this, uh, but then I manage. So it's 90 degrees. So now we can put uh, this type of uh, of bracket. There we have the second. Uh, today, even if it's a bit windy and cold, uh, I decided to work on the sauna. And then this time now is the foundation time. I use pole like this, and then I put this uh, bracket. So it's one here, and then one there. I try to be deep, but it's not always the <laughs> not always possible. Uh, yeah, this one was my reference point because I spent uh, all the week to cut that stone. Uh, here I'm using that one as well, so there is no uh, no pole. Uh, yeah, so that's why now it's uh, curing, and um, and in the meantime, I have uh, Finia that can. Uh, Help me with the painting! So uh, yeah, this is the cladding and then that will be the first layer. So uh, yeah, actually I'm gonna use this for the coming days to make the frame. So uh, the plan would be to have so, four pillars like this uh, in between. And then after that I will just uh, make uh, continue the video. All right guys. New day, new adventure. So, third thing is that we're gonna paint for the third session and also the last one. Yeah. Today we're gonna mount the beams directly there. And then I'm going to show you, I have, I just taken, I just took the, the measurement. Yeah, it will be at a distance of uh, 523, uh, something like this. And I will have one, two, three. And four, and uh, here I make some space to have the canalization to clean the water, to clean the the sauna, and then yeah, I can show you in some minutes how it looks. So work in progress. What I do usually here, I just put uh, the two first, and then after I make the same on the other side, and then after that I will fix the, this one on one side then I do the same on the other side and then after this I finish by clamping clamping this there we are so all the beams transversal beams have been uh, just mounted uh, I added some stones under and then put some uh, some soil that was here because anyway I have to clean later so uh, instead of putting all these stones in the ocean I can just put them under so yeah that's it for today and then in coming days I will just finish that and we'll uh, put the 
asphalt plates and then make the canalization. Alright guys, uh, welcome back. I'm sorry I was... Uh, I mean, you don't see it in the video, but I had a lot of uh, other projects, so I didn't have time to take care of the sauna. But here I am, and then uh, I f managed to uh, make uh, all the, the drawings, what we have to cut and what we have to assemble. So uh, yeah, you have the front, the back and everything. Uh, and then yeah, here is the cutting wound. In order to uh, keep uh, a track on what I'm doing, I just uh, marked all of the, the beams um, as a reference. So like this one, I'm gonna make the assembly, then I will know exactly uh, uh, which beam to take. And then as soon as I'm finished with this machine, then I will use this one uh, to make all the angles. You know, when you have to cut with some degrees over there. So let's see what will happen. that you need uh, to start with is the um, tissue. I put my uh, my tissue that is made for protecting uh, against the grass that should grow up. Uh, I have put aside the, the, the frame and then as you can see I'm adding now the what they call the asphalt so it's a dance pala in Norwegian something like this. Uh, yeah, so the asphalt, so then I have to to cut uh, some of them. As soon as this one will be uh, finished, I will just flip it and then I will add it directly on the frame and fix, uh, fix the frame. As soon as the frame is fixed, then I can cut some uh, spawn plata. This is this uh, um, special wood that I can use uh, on top of it, so then at least I can walk. And then I will start the frame around. <music> to uh, fasten this, I use a compressor with uh, nails. And normally you should do that every uh, 20 centimeters. Etc. Up, next one. And do that every time. There we are. Uh, so uh, the first tissue is done. I still have to make the some holes to uh, that will be um, uh, like for the clamps that I have for the anchors. Uh, need to flip it, and then we are good. There we go. Everything is mounted. I just need uh, to uh, put some screws, and then the frame is done. And there's some cleaning because I had no space. So uh, today the plan is to cut uh, this spawn plata. So this is the like o OSB. Uh, and then uh, I do it on the floor with a chainsaw. And then I can also show you how it looks outside. So yeah. I started to put some of them. It's pretty uh, stable. So I'm not going to uh, screw them directly because I have to put the insulation and I will do it later on. Because now with this amazing weather, the plan is to build the frame, but it will be easy for me to walk. So let's see uh, how oh, it works. <laughs> Guys, today uh, it's time to make the frame around uh, the sauna. So I just started already by making two of the, of the like the two sides. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I put these three beams together with a long screw. Uh, from the top and the bottom, I drilled uh, perpendicularly, and then I just added also this uh, 90 degrees uh, bracket. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it works. Um, the, this one was the, the easiest. 
and then now I'm gonna start the uh, back so that's uh, yeah all the beams have a number yeah all the beams have a number and then uh, I just need to follow the plan according to this and then we assemble and then we fix let's go so now I lay down everything and then uh, next step is to uh, to tight uh, to uh, yeah uh, with a screw fasten and uh, yeah here will be the big window so uh, I have to be cautious with the dimensions <music> the two side and the back and uh, now I'm currently working on the um, the front so I'm almost done and uh, after this I will have to make the the roof this is gonna take some time and uh, it's a weekend so tomorrow I have a race and then uh, I will be dead but then Sunday I should continue <laughs> guys I have finished the frame of the roof and uh, as you can see here I put um, a, this beam is 48 millimeters longer so I can go like under uh, the goal of this is that when I'm gonna mount the, uh, the frame of the walls then I can just add this one on top of it and then it should fit so I can adjust and uh, in the meantime i'm waiting my my friends help me uh so i have just uh, finished the the portals well i call it like this so uh, yeah these are the beams that will uh, be uh, on the roof and then i had to connect uh, some brackets so uh, everything should be ready and then next step is the, the assembly and uh, let's start the assembly with my friend Nailiam. Fuck yes! Over there, let's go! So, as you can see guys, we have made the assembly and then now we are currently drilling so the plan is to add this um, this uh, screws uh, on the bottom and then after we use this uh, clamp to make the level on the top and uh, Mr. Nailiam is doing a crazy job so it's super nice and then the next step will be as soon as we finish all the, the screws is to um, to put the, the floor the, um, the roof Ladies and gentlemen, ta -ta 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 -ta. there we go. So we have finished to put the screws up. It starts to look like something. And the view is also pretty good. So next step is to put the roof. <laughs> plates the porters and I have uh, two more and then um, like I have already fixed the roof so uh, it start to look like something uh, nice and then as soon as I finish then the next step will be to put the uh, asphalt uh, like a tree fiber all right guys today new step we need to put this uh, asphalt uh, asphalt thing I think uh, which is right this so we need to use the, the gun and we have already made uh, one. Oh, I can show you around. So uh, 
yeah we are just following the plan from the top to the bottom and then now the next step is to make uh, one of the side and then uh, it start to be a uh, bit dark what do you think mr nailiam huh uh, we still have an hour to go yeah that's true that's true that's true so uh, yeah let's continue <laughs> Tan, 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 tan. C'est beau ça. Hein? Uh, second uh, wall is uh, done. So, uh, what's the next step now, Mr. Nailiam? The front wall. Yeah, pretty right. All right, let's go for the front. Hello, guys. Uh, new day, new adventure. And today, I'm going to put the Vince Pere, as they say in uh, Norwegian, uh, which is a tissue that you have to put just before the, the cladding. So, uh, as you see, I'm rolling and then um, I have to put the staples exactly uh, at the good position uh, where there will be the spacers later on. So, um, yeah, that's a lot of uh, work, but uh, uh, next step after that will be to put some uh, some beams before the spawn platter. So now I have to roll to make it very waterproof. So Finia, how is it going to hold like this? It's so much fun. Yeah. And here's the final result. Uh, we had to make some overlapping. Not the not the most beautiful one, but uh, yeah, I had no uh, like it was a bit uh, difficult with the angle of five degrees on the roof. So uh, yeah, next step is to make the, the roof now. Next step is to add this uh, longitudinal beams uh, to close the, um, to block the tissue from the top. Perpendicular beams are done. I still need to add uh, two beams to close and then we can start the spawn platter. And now is the time for spawn plata. There we go. So now we are currently uh, putting the spawn plata. Finia, how is it? Yeah, great. <laughs> and then I will finish the cuts later on. But yeah, it seems uh, it has to be flush because there will be a plank that will come here. So finally we have a roof that is solid. More. I'm not stressed because it's raining for one week uh, tomorrow yeah. and then at least uh, this is done. The spawn plateau is uh, waterproof. I will still put like a plastic cover just, uh, just in case and I need to put the, um, to make the cut uh, as you can see here. So uh, yeah, some parts were longer, which was normal. It's one out of two. And uh, yeah, then uh, good job. Hello guys. Uh, today um, we have to, I had to go back to cutting wood. So uh, I've been cutting the, um, all the cladding, which is the last uh, layer, which is outside. And uh, in the same time now, I'm finishing the, the roof. So uh, the goal was to add uh, this triangle, uh, up, like this type. And then you have to put a plank like this. I decided to add the second one that will be, uh, that will be under uh, in order to have more uh, like a bigger roof. And, and then after the, when everything will be done, I need to add behind and then after the um, like this asphalt uh, thing that will protect the roof and then after the gutter and everything. 
All right, guys, today a new day, new adventure, and this is my last day before I go to Bergen. And uh, I need to finish this uh, roof. So uh, this week I made the beams like around. And uh, now I have just finished to add the, um, the gutter, if you, can, uh, if you can see. And now I'm going to put the, uh, the asphalt, so let's see how it will, uh, it will end up. Uh, work in progress. I managed to finish uh, two, uh, two roads, like one road, but two lines. And then I had a bit uh, more. I start by the, the lowest point, like this I can make an overlap. And then if the water goes, it will never go under. Uh, other than this, yeah, of course, I forgot to put uh, under like the, the nails. So they are visible, but technically I won't say who cares. <laughs> so yeah, and you have like uh, nails on the top of each other, each um, plank. Uh, so like this, it's kind of sealed. And uh, yeah, second roll, let's go. So. The spacers is the last part to put before the cladding, the cladding, I think in English. So you have to follow exactly, this is not what I did, but this is normal because I have like a longer beam and I want to be as short as possible from the side. Uh, but yeah, normally you have to follow the, the beams that are on the roof, like over there. Hola. Hello. <laughs> Uh, let's continue for the sauna just for the weekend. Uh, the next step is to add the spacers that you see here. So I added some of them, not all of them because I need to make the window. Uh, but at the moment now we need to set up the what? Museban? Yeah, so the mouse uh, shit, so it cannot go uh, under. So uh, the plan is to make like all around. And uh, then after this, we can put the, the cladding that is over there. And now what is it? Is the the cladding master. Yeah. So the goal is to put one by one, make the make the level on the first one. This one we just adjust it here. And then we have to put two screws over there. Regarding the gutter, uh, my gutter was kind of uh, longer than what they can offer. So I had to make like uh, a junction here, like a joint. Uh, other than that, you just apply the, um, this, uh, this uh, sheet metal and then at the end I have to reconnect. So the plan is to have the canalization that go down up to here and then it will go there in the same time than the, uh, the evacuation in the, in the sauna. And now we're gonna go inside for the first time, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the future sauna. So uh, now the next step is to cut this uh, asphalt uh, tree, uh, tree fiber uh, in order to put the window. So I will just cut this part and I will not cut the the um, uh, as they say, the, the tissue. I will do it uh, later because it's going to rain in the coming days. And the plan is to do the same on this window and then uh, the same on the door that is over there. So uh, now the, the window is clean, so uh, from what I understood, you have to make some cuts in uh, diagonal. And then after that, when we will put the, the window, we will put the tissue uh, like inside and then we have to tape. So I'm going to make now the next window and then uh, when I have to go back to uh, Bergen to work. So when I'm back here to Olosun, then I can mount this. All right, first window. Done. Second window is done, and I even make the pre-cut of the door, uh, but I didn't cut everywhere. So like this, with the wind, it can still uh, resist. So we are soon in November, and the construction is still uh, going. So uh, I have done recently this. Um, cladding and I did also the, the other side so it started to look uh, good and then we are walking now on the window 
So uh, the window has been uh, like uh, set up and then we had to put the tape all around and um, as you can see here I just put uh, the expensive uh, foam so it has to go all the way along I will wait like the night and then I will cut everything uh, t tomorrow and then now we are walking on the second uh, on the second window the window is there the plan is to have something that can uh, stop so when we mount then we make the level we tie it on the side with uh, four four screws and then after that we have to tape outside again How you call this? No Jan? Vince Beretap. Yeah, Vince Beretap, yeah. And we have to do this for the four sides. Aman! Are you ready? Yeah, no, because we're already done! So, look at this perfection. Really nice job. And now it's only the foam to put inside, and then we are done for today. All right. And then now is the foam time. All right. So we shouldn't put too much. Well, I say this, but I love the the game. So here is the spacer. Today we are going to make the floor, so this will consist with insulation and then pl wood, plastic and concrete. So uh, I didn't put the, uh, the insulation uh, before because uh, it has to be dry. Unfortunately some uh, water came the previous day because I didn't have the, <laughs> the, um, the door. Uh, but it's okay, I'm gonna dry it and then we're gonna uh, mount everything and we will put the uh, the exit for the water <laughs> so um, now we are doing the the concrete floor, uh, and we try to make like an angle, and uh, that's why it's fucking late on Sunday. But uh, that's the only way to do if we want to finish uh, on time. So uh, Miro is helping me. Miro from Slovakia. Fuck yeah, the future YouTube star. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now let's continue. We have like 20 bags to. Uh, 20 bags of concrete, let's go. Final uh, result, the concrete floor is the done and um, uh, yeah as you can see it has to cure for probably uh, one day looks nice there's a small slope I don't know if you see but uh, 
should be fine. And then the worst case scenario, even if it's not perfect, then uh, the limb under the tile can uh, can help to uh, make a real level. That's it for today. All right, guys. So two days later, the concrete is uh, dry, but normally it should take like a couple of weeks. Uh, so that's why I have uh, like a heater inside. And in the meantime, uh, <laughs> in the meantime, we have changed the the time in Norway. So that's why now it's very dark, even though it's a bit early. So now I'm working on the window. So I have to apply this. Uh, uh, in Norwegian is bech lag, but it's this pla this aluminium uh, sheet metal that will just kick the water out. And then I have to put some uh, list around. So I'm currently working on this. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I also have to do the same. As you can see, here is the um, the pr type of profile that you that you need. So uh, this should go. This should go something like this. Just to go under. And there and then it will uh, manage like this so the goal after is to add the cladding and then some uh, beams on there and make the same like on the top so guys now the next step um, is to uh, take care of the concrete floor so uh, it's still curing and then we need uh, to put this uh, layer of uh, membrane so now I'm putting the I don't know what they call it in English in the Norwegian sokel um, so I have to put all around and then first I need to put also the, the aluminium. So I will put like 15 centimeters of aluminium above. So like this, we are sure that it will be sealed. And then as soon as will be uh, in place, then I can uh, screw uh, this, the sockel. And then the next step will be to put the membrane. So 15 centimeters all around. And now I can put the sockel. It looks like something nice. And then now we are mixing this uh, membrane, which is uh, uh, cement based in two components. So uh, we have to be uh, pretty quick and it's a good diffusion. possible ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> the membrane is done for the first layer and there will be only one layer because <laughs> it's not to cost too much money all right so now we have done the um, the tiles on the floor and it looks super nice so um uh yeah this one has been done yesterday uh and then now i'm actually cutting the what they call they call it a circle so this is like all around there's like a five six centimeters uh, and then this will maintain the water in uh, like uh, and avoid that it will go through so uh, this takes some time and then i have to put the glue on top of it uh, and then tomorrow it will be the joint between the the tiles Alright guys, so now it's cutting time and this one is the last one that goes normally right here. So it's a bit, it's a bit longer but it should be a, a cut here. In the meantime I had to finish the windows so uh, I had to put the the list around, so you see, um, I have to cover all the angles. So we make the cut, and then after you have these long planks. And uh, here you need a small uh, cut here because when the water goes down, then at least it will not go inside; it will just fall. Uh, also done that. Uh, this window is finished, and I have to make the other one. Today, joint time, and I'm with a new friend. You see, I have a different friend every day. <laughs> And here is uh, Mr. Harald. So the point now is to make the joint. So how you show me? So then the goal is to put this uh, 
in French, uh, in, uh, in Norwegian, uh, figure masse. So uh, the joint everywhere. So yeah, it should be fine. And then after clean, cleaning time. So yeah, I, mean, well, I don't teach you anything because if you go on YouTube, you will find a lot of tutorials for this. But yeah, that's the last uh, step. And couple hours later, then we are finally done. I've been watching, uh, washing uh, several times because you don't want to have any um, any shit that stick to uh, to the tiles except uh, in the joint. So uh, yeah, that was the the main part of the day. And then I've been mo also mounting the this structure in order to have. Um, uh, some planks and then I can mount uh, later on the light. Next step is to put the silicone in in the bottom corner. So this is what I did. Um, it is what it is. So good enough. And then uh, now I'm done for inside for the floor. So uh, I will focus on the under the roof. New day, new adventure, and as you can see, yesterday I had time to um, make this uh, structure under the roof. Uh, this includes technically um, there's a net uh, under to avoid that the flight they will go there, and I also make the electricity. So um, that's the part, and then now I'm making the the rest and then behind. As soon as this one will be done, I can make the list in the corner uh, here and then I will make the list uh, around, the, um, around the door. Alright guys, today um, I finished around outside. I just painted the last uh, layer and then now I'm focused on inside. So I have taken the measurement um, on the, like uh, on my uh, so, um, sonar heater and then the goal is to add some uh, beams as you see here because I will have one uh, hole here and one over there and the other side will be he here and here so this will be the uh, place the placement of my um, of my heater uh, I still need to put this uh, this uh, inlet for the airflow and then now like there will be also the benches so two layers which means that i need to put this beam uh like i mean this one over there and then uh the second one will be uh, at like uh, 92 centimeters first one 420 second one nine uh, 920. all right guys today uh i'm gonna start to work inside because yesterday i finished the the lights i'm going to show you uh, but in the meantime, I have been cutting the spacers for the, the wood panel and I'm also uh, Well, now it start to look like something nice uh, Now I'm adding The ventilation so I need an inlet and outlet uh, So yeah, it's not very complex um, so yeah, it consists with like uh, a cylinder uh, that is kind of flexible uh, and I need to add the inlet that will be here right under the the heater. So uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do now. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I put some uh, ceiling uh, light, like down light all around uh, with this uh, MacGyver uh, connection. So uh, yeah, but this one uh, I will fix it later. These are Philips Hue, and then it should be uh, uh, I should be able to control and change the, the color. But now let's focus on the ventilation. Right now it's time for insulation. So it's a long time that I was waiting for this. So the plan is to um, mount uh, all the walls, and then I will finish by the by the ceiling. And uh, and then I need to add some uh, blocks here because this is where 
uh, there will be the benches, so I need like a strong structure. So let's do this. So uh, the insulation is finished. Uh, it was a mess, but uh, I managed to have like exactly what I need. So um, yeah, the rule is to not compress too much because you know the air is the, the best isolant. Um, so yeah, now I should put this uh, plastic all around. All right, now it's time to put the power vapor. So it's uh, plastic. Uh, the first layer will be in plastic. The second one will be in aluminium. So I have to put this all around. New evening, new adventure. Today the plastic has been uh, Finished to be mounted everywhere and then now as you can see I'm adding the aluminium foil uh, so it's like a second layer it's exactly the same uh, it's gonna take some time so I will just make a quick uh, timeline and as soon as this one will be mounted then the wood panel will be the last layer Finally guys, I'm done with this aluminium shit that took so long time because for each stable I had to put this uh, small patch every everywhere so this required a lot of patience and accuracy but then now we are good so the next step is to put the um, spacers and then uh, finally we're gonna mount the wood and that's the last layer inside all right, now next step, as I just told you, it's the spacers. So I already started to mount to mount one. And then now I'm gonna start around the, the window. The plan is after that to uh, mount the side and then I will reach the frame. So uh, yeah, I think because of the um, corners that, um, that I have, uh, because of the uh, aluminum, uh, I think I have to cut every time a bit otherwise uh, it will not fit but uh, it should be okay with the the circular saw finally all the spacers are mounted even on the on the ceiling um it was a pain in the ass because in the corners uh, you have this uh, this uh, fillet, so uh, I had to make them a bit shorter. But overall, it's not uh, a big issue. Uh, I still added some here for the benches because I will uh, screw them um, directly. Uh, and overall, now we're gonna mount uh, <laughs> this uh, famous uh, wood panel. Let's go. So now I have started to uh, make the panel, as you can see behind me. Um, the plan now is to uh, make the, the roof, or like the ceiling. So uh, I made like three on each because I had to make this uh, this cut for the ventilation. Um, and then I will start by the by the roof, and after this I will just go down little by little. Hey guys, uh, welcome back and happy new year. I've been uh, away for uh, a month and then uh, now I'm back to Norway and then back also to uh, work on the sauna. So um, I'm almost done with the, the inside panel. As you can see, I finished these two walls. Now I'm working on the third one, but then I have to set up this amazing Tylo uh, heater. So um, I will do this and then I have to make the, you know, to set up the uh, 
sensors and then the sensor for the door, the contact door for the door, etc. Let's continue. All right, so uh, now I have finished to put the panels um, everywhere. Um, I still need two, uh, two at the bottom because, but then I'm using uh, the space to, uh, to put the cables. So I have positioned the heater and then uh, I have mounted uh, the control panel. Also the, um, uh, the sensor for the temperature. And then the plan now is to extend this uh, pipe until the end because I need like a door switch uh, to be able to use the Wi-Fi with this uh, heater. Let's go. The end is coming soon, guys. I finished to mount the, the heater and then uh, everything is, uh, is ready. Uh, and now I have to build the benches. So I have made all the cuts. And uh, I think it's, it might be nice to have this, uh, this kind of insert and to have some fit. So basically you just make a tiny hole like this. Right, let's see if one hand I can manage. Yep. So you have this and then I have this kind of fit. Normally it fits well. So when you arrive uh, when you arrive to the end, then at the end at least you have something that's gonna that's gonna be on the floor. Of course I will be at the lowest possible. Uh, the goal of this is that um, when I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna flush uh, everything with water. The water will not stay under the feet. I know that sometimes it can uh, can be rotten after after a while, so uh, it's just a question of uh, cleaning. Right, let's start building. Hello, guys. Uh, the end is coming soon. I'm almost done. Uh, I just finished the benches, as you can see here. So with the nice uh, wood on the top. And then, so you have the upper floor and then the bottom floor. I have made a test when I was trying uh, at 90 degrees and it works super well. So uh, I'm done with that. Then the next step now I'm gonna show you is to make some nice corners in order to hide uh, uh, these gaps. Then the next step will be to make the same uh, like here to make a nice uh, nice windows. Then uh, last step will be to use this um, this nice uh, wood to have a nice back, uh, you know, uh, like everywhere. And then on top of it, then I will add the the leads. I put them on the floor because I wanted to make a test, and then it was a success. And then. I will be finally done with that shit. So uh, let's not give up. And now let's start for the corners. Back to business guys, so uh, now I'm making the backrest and uh, I had to cut uh, with a special angle this uh, piece of beams, uh, piece of wood. Then we have to adjust uh, the, um, uh, the beams in order to make some uh, 
nice backrest. Uh, start going uh, well over there. So, almost done, almost done. As you can see, so I have already made the first one, um, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, my only issue now is that um, it doesn't fit because I forgot that they have this corner, corners that block. So I need to take off the corners and make a small cut. But um, yeah, also, otherwise it's uh, pretty fine. And then after this, I will put the lights uh, just on the side. So now I'm on the way to fix the backrest, as you can see. Uh, this is something that uh, I've been working all the afternoon. And uh, uh, now before I fix the last one, I need to put this uh, light. So that's the main uh, step to put them in uh, inside here. So I have already done one side. And then uh, the goal after is to put the, the lights. today is the floor with uh, like the wood uh, panel and uh, it shouldn't take long but as always uh, there's always some uh, complication so let's start Right now, guys, it's time to make the calculations. So if you can see here, I have all the receipts of my sauna. And then now it's time to make the summary. So uh, here is the calculations, as I told you. Um, I have collected everything and uh, made my, uh, my calculations. So uh, this is per supplier. So Ops Big was the one that was providing most of the, the wood and the, the the material. So I have the paint. Everything is in Norwegian crowns. Uh, so if you want to have it in euros or dollars, you just need to divide by 10. Power was for the Philips U, the light, optimal insulation. Uh, Electro importer end was more like about um, yeah, electricity. Mega fleece was what was linked with the floor like the concrete the armoring and stuff like this build tema is like for the tools and miscellaneous uh, shit and then you have also yula which is also uh, for the tools and then this one is for the the equipment where i had to buy a door uh, ventilation etc so back on this then you have everything so you can take a Stop it if you want to investigate, but yeah, basically um, what cost me the most was the heater uh, because it was like two and a half thousand euros. And then uh, you have also the wood for the bench and also the wood for uh, the sauna itself, which was three thousand uh, euros. Yes, then uh, for the construction, I also have like uh, miscellaneous construction, like concrete and things like this. Uh, 1700 euros um other than that yeah the internet panel was 700 euros which was okay uh the glasses so it's like the windows they were like 780 the door was okay um the panel clips were a bit expensive because it's just a small piece of metal uh and yeah and for the equipment uh, the vince pellet which is like the uh, uh, all the uh, all what is in the insulation uh, with the roof, the asphalt rollers, for example, and in total I get I get thirteen thousand seven hundred eighty-eight euros. Uh, my budget was eight thousand euros, uh, but then when I saw on internet that nothing was what I expected, I wanted 
two uh, windows I wanted uh, like a square shape and so on so I never found my happiness so then I built everything uh, myself from scratch I'm super happy of course this is way over my budget but look at that guys come on the sauna is super cool at the end so um, yeah for those of you who want to build something like that you know that you need to prepare something uh, <laughs> with the budget of course I live in Norway and the price is more expensive than maybe your own country but that's the range that you should expect so I just made a, an evening session in the sauna and I wanted to show you how does it look ladies and gentlemen look at this ta -ta 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 -ta. of course the deck is finished and then you have like the different lights that are super super cool And that's how I finished my video one year later. As you can see, I had the time to build uh, this uh, amazing deck on the floor and also the, the shower here. Ibrahim, well, you like the sauna? Perfect. It's very cool. Okay, time now to... Uh, Let's go. Go down. Okay, As you can see, you have an amazing... Uh, Okay. That's a pleasure, guys. <laughs>